Today is July 9th, 2021. This video is to show how um, my wife's 2015 Honda Fit EX starts up. This accompanies the letter that's being sent to Honda Corporate uh, via email in a few days. All right, start it up. What I'm showing is that this car starts up a lot louder than it did when it was new. And she has complained about it at Conyers Honda service department and their response is that that's normal we've been driving a long time and we cars and this we we know some things about cars and this isn't normal pop your hood For whatever purposes, I'm gonna pop the hood and uh, give a view of it. Plus, you should be able to hear uh, the noises that it makes uh, better by popping the hood. So this information is for whoever looks at it and wants to get a feel for what may be going on with this car. The letter that we're putting together uh, to be submitted to Honda Corporate is giving the history of this vehicle and uh, we're taking it back to Conyers Honda Service Department, which is in Conyers, Georgia, in the United States. So we we are documenting what has happened to this car and how the service department uh, dealt with it and the outcomes uh, for each one of those visits. You can hear the air conditioning uh, cycling on and off. And my wife has mentioned that to the service department because it's, it's a loud noise. And um, uh, they say that's normal. Another thing that happened to this vehicle is um, the starter had to be replaced to the tune of $800 uh, because it was making a terrible noise. Another thing that had to be replaced on this vehicle was the, uh, the, the push button uh, start on the inside. That push button had to be replaced. Um, one of the earlier services that had to be done was a part uh, where the, the service department stated that the reason why all of the lights on the dashboard were on and stayed on is because a part was malfunctioning. <clears throat> So they stated that they had to replace the part and that they would have to um, keep the car for a couple of weeks in order for that part to be shipped in from Japan and then replaced. During that time, they provided a courtesy car for my wife to drive. 
but after after uh, replacing the part sometime later the same situation happened again meaning the dash lights came on <clears throat> the reason that we are submitting this video and the letters is to let corporate Honda know what has been going on with this particular car uh, as we speak we're back to the point of dash lights being on and here's what I'm stating as far as all of the dash lights being on and get it in get it in view there see all of those dash lights are on right now There's the odometer reading right there. So as I stated, those lights have been given a problem. And also, what I noticed is the, um, the gas mileage is definitely affected because when the car was new it was getting in the 40s but you can see that the car has been getting 30s 25 miles to the gallon and that defeats the purpose of having a small car that has a fuel efficient engine so basically we are unhappy with the way this car has performed and yeah we fully understand that um, Things happen, and but when you take it to the service department uh, of the dealership that sells these cars, you'd expect them to be able to service it and fix it, and everything's great. But that's not the part. That's not the not that's not the result. That is not the result. As I showed, those lights are still on. And making all these noises. This is this is this this is not what we expected from Honda because we always thought Honda was uh, was a premier manu manufacturer. But this is not an example of of that fine reputation. My wife has owned other Hondas, and she's in love with Honda, but she hates this experience. I've been trying to tell her to never buy a Honda again, but she's uh, she she's still on the on the decision that she wants to buy Hondas from from now on. But she's extremely unhappy with this experience. And this car, she bought brand new off of the, literally off of the showroom floor of another dealership. And she did not finance this vehicle. She wrote a check, drove off the floor. Very happy with her purchase until things started malfunctioning. So you guys have a opportunity to make a loyal customer happy with your product. So we're just sending this to you to let you know what has gone on with this car.
we would love to have you do something to, to make her feel better about it but you know if you don't at least we are giving you the information for this particular car so um, I am submitting this video onto my particular YouTube channel but in the in in the letter that I'm going to send to corporate I'm going to send a link in that letter so that they can see this video in full thank you for your consideration